This is the DigitalPicture.com's Weekend Recap for the week ending December 14th, 2013. In the news, on Tuesday we learned that Nikon's newest firmware updates may have contained an undocumented modification. Users report cameras with the new firmwares no longer work with third-party batteries. Did Nikon purposefully attempt to kill third-party battery compatibility or was this an unanticipated side effect of the updates? On a related note, we shared our own experience with third-party batteries being incompatible with Canon's newest LCE6 battery chargers. That got us wondering, did Nikon take a page out of Canon's playbook? On Thursday, we learned about Zeiss's plans to produce an 85mm f1.4 Otis lens. Zeiss outed the lens's development via a Facebook comment displayed on their own website. In Sight News and Reviews, on Tuesday, we posted a full review of the Pocket Wizard Plus X radio transceivers. In short, the Plus X transceivers offer a rugged build quality with a limited yet attractive feature set that will surely grow Pocket Wizard's fan base. On Wednesday, we posted our standard image quality test results for the Sigma 180mm f2.8 EX DG OS HSM macro lens. Tests available for viewing include ISO resolution, vignetting, and distortion. On Thursday, Brian posted his full review of the Sigma 24-105mm f4 DG OS HSM art lens. To sum up the review, Sigma's new 24-105mm lens follows in step with all their recent global vision releases, meaning excellent image quality, sound build quality, and moderate price tag. Check out Brian's review for all the details. And for our deal of the week. On Sunday, we posted a deal from BuyDig.com, where you could get a Canon EF 24-70mm f2.8 L2 USM lens for $1,679 after rebate. That's a $620 savings off the normal MSRP. This has been the DigitalPicture.com's Weekend Recap. Thanks for listening, and as always, happy shooting.